God is patient with us. So to end our week of devotionals on the fruit of the Spirit, patience, we're looking at God being patient with us. As I shared on Wednesday, I'm not the most patient person. Most days I ask God to help me to have more patience with those I share my life with. Even as I was trying to put together this devotional, I was constantly interrupted by my youngest son who needed help with a project I had set. I can have one of two responses. Tell him to go away as I'm working or spend those few minutes he needs for him to know that he's valued and loved. In life, we can get so caught up in the doing that if something or someone interrupts us, our response is not one of patience, but irritation. However, that interruption could be a thing of beauty in our day. God has infinite patience with his people. Throughout the Old Testament, God is patient with the Israelites who are always grumbling and groaning and going their own way. In the New Testament, Jesus is patient with his disciples when they struggled with their faith, even though they'd witnessed the miraculous right in front of their eyes. And in the story of Jesus and Jairus' daughter, we see Jesus being interrupted as he's headed to Jairus' house because his daughter is very sick. On the way, as he's walking in a big crowd of people, Jesus suddenly stops and asks, who touched me? It was a lady who'd been unwell for 12 years and she knew that if she touched Jesus' coat, she would be healed. The disciples' response in the Bible is one of irritation, saying there are loads of people, anyone could have touched you. Jesus knew, though, that he needed to stop, be interrupted as this woman needed a touch from him. Jesus was patient with her, healed and restored her. He called her daughter. In this season, there's definitely been a reduction of hurry in my life. But am I allowing God to interrupt me in what I'm doing to heal and restore me, to have a touch from him? This thought could then set me back and make me think, oh my, I've failed again. But then I read 1 Corinthians 13. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. Love is not easily angered and keeps no record of wrongs. God is love. So this passage is describing God, his character, and shows me that God is patient with me. In Psalm 145, we read, The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. God never demands that I hurry up. He wants me to come to him and learn from him, so that as he is patient with me, this fruit of the Spirit will be evident in my patience with others.